Welcome back to the sound of the men working on the train gang. That is the sound of men working on the train gang. So it's my turn. I've already rolled. Let's see what I got and see what I'm going to do. And of course, I would have been spending my whole turn, Jen's whole turn thinking about this. Um, but let's see. Now, remember, the main thing I'm really trying to do right now is work on my yellow line. And unfortunately, bad luck, I only do rolled one yellow. So I know I'm going to spend that and continue working on the line. See, I knew that's, that's the danger of having only one contract on the go. You might not be able to work much on it. But that means you'll score more points later. So I, got, I won't be finishing that line this turn, but what else do I want to do? So I got five dice left over. Hmm, let's see. So I could you know, get a switching station. I could, well, I can't make any deliveries yet because there are no good deliveries because th those lines up there don't allow for it. I could take another contract. I could certainly afford some of these contracts, but I think actually I've got five dice left. I'm going to spend all of them. I'm going to spend all five dice and I'm going to grab another die because I don't want Jen to get, I mean, Jen already has two bonus dice. I don't want her to get a third bonus die. So I'm going to take this black die. I now have a black die, woo -ha -ha, which has the very, very cool quadruple colors. So that's pretty nice. That was my whole turn. Very, very simple. I, I continued to work on the track and then I got a black die. And so at the end of the turns, new stuff comes out. Hey, it's another black die. So Jen will be able to buy that one if she wants. And that's that. And uh, okay, so it's Jen's turn. Now let's see what she's got. Dee, dee, dee. Hello. All right, well, first of all, she rolled this. Now what this means is she can put down two cubes on any of the tracks. Oh, they, I th don't think they can be split. I think they have to go on one track. Um, yeah, it has to go on one of, of one of Jen's tracks. So she had multiples in on the go, she, she couldn't split them. So she can put two cubes on any one track. She's gonna use that right off the bat. And again, it doesn't matter what color. So she gets to put two cubes on the blue line from Flagstaff to Phoenix. So she's almost done. And hey, when you know, she's got two more blues. So she's probably gonna put these here. And this is actually something Jen and I do. We, when we're thinking about what we're gonna do, we often put our dice on the board and say, okay, if I put those blues over there and I do that over there, because let's see, that's gonna leave her with five dice. And I know, let's see, she's completed a contract. So she's probably gonna wanna spend a die doing this delivery, delivering this gray from Flagstaff to Phoenix. So she can start, you know, cause delivering goods is a big part of the game. What else does she wanna do? She might wanna grab another, would that say, you know, that'd be, let's say that'd be one die you know, to, to make that delivery. Then she'd have four dice left over. And with four dice, she could buy the acquisition expert, which means in the future, everything is cheaper. That's pretty awesome. She could get a switching station, but we're not doing long deliveries yet, so I don't think she's particularly excited about that. Or with her four dice, she could afford this contract or this contract. She could afford any of the contracts, in fact. And it's interesting, actually, the really cheap contract, that'd be a nice one, because it's right here, it's this line. And, you know, because that means she'd have She'd have two of her own lines that are connected, and she'd be able to deliver. I think, yeah, she'd be able to deliver this gray along her two lines to Flagstaff, and that'd be a really good point scoring thing for her. But the problem is, to take this, she needs to have a gray die, and she's using up her only gray die to finish the line. So what does she want to do? Does she want to finish the line, or does she want to get that for the future? No, okay, she's definitely going to finish the line. I think she's definitely because she can get other contracts too. So that's fine. Let's let's uh, let's let's do this. Let's confirm. Boom. She is finishing this line. Two more cubes go down, which means she has successfully laid some track. That was five long. I guess we can use a longer one. That was five long. Let's see. We come over here. Five, and she only has the one contract at this point. So that means she scores six points. Ah, so she goes up to eight. Okie doke. And this contract is gone. Alrighty, so he has no contracts. And now she's got five dice left. Now she's still, well actually boy, she had one more die, she could get the other black die and that would be awesome too. <sighs> Maybe she shouldn't be jumping the gun on that. Uh, but you know, six dice just to get, she already has two bonus dice. I think that's pretty expensive. I'm saying she's happy with that. So she wants to do a delivery. So one of her dice is going to go towards that. And I think her other die, she's going to want, okay, she can't buy this one. She has red, so she could buy this one. She has no blue, or she, so she could either buy this red one or the, the, the shipping line from Eureka to San Francisco. But that one costs four. This one only costs three. I think she's going to buy this. She's buying this. She has a new contract, let's see, and that is 4A. So it's this little short one here. So she'll be able to do some more, you know, short-term deliveries on her own network and not have to pay me anything. 
So that cost her a red and two other things, right? Okay, and she has a contract now, and remember she gets to put one cube on there, so she'll finish this pretty quick. And what do you know, she has two dice left. Oh, that's pretty nice actually. So she's got two choices. She could bank this to either have one yellow or one red next turn, but she only wants to do that if she has nothing better to do. She's got something better to do. With these last two reds, she is gonna finish this line. One, two, so she has just finished another line. Boom, just like that. So, okay, between Phoenix and Tucson. That cost, uh, that was three, and that was just her only contract. So, uh, that, that cost, that she made three. And um, if you do a three length with no other contracts, it gives you three points, so she got three more points. One, two, three. A lot of points to be made for laying track. She's doing quite well. Now that means she had no, um, no dice left over, so she couldn't actually do a delivery. But she's now set herself up for her next turn. She might do multiple deliveries. Because Flagstaff wants this gray from Tucson. Phoenix wants this gray from Flagstaff. So she'll get to do a couple of deliveries next turn. That'll be nice and she'll score some points that way. All right, so that was the end of her turn. And so at the end of her turn, she refills stuff. So she had bought this. This comes back. A new thing comes out. It's red 3A over here. All right, so we're starting to build. A, we have the option to build a nice little network down here in the southwest. Okay, and she re-rolls her dice, of which she has many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She started six, seven, wait a minute. Oh, no, she doesn't have this blue. Oopsie. She has a gray and she has a yellow. So she's got her eight dice. She will roll. And so she's going to get it up. So she's going to want to do some more track expansion next turn, which means she'll have to get a contract. Otherwise, this will have been wasted. All right, so her next turn, worry about that later. My next turn. I have, well, did I roll? I don't think I did. I should have. I should have been thinking about this, but obviously I couldn't have been. Here goes my black dice. Oh, no. Ah. What did it get? What did it get? Ah, look at that. I'll take it, that's legal. I get the multicolor, it's totally legal. You saw it, I didn't cheat. I'm sure many people have house rules about it has to stay on the table, but not here. If it's good, you get to keep it. If it's bad, you get to re-roll. That's how Jen and I roll. Anyway, so I've got a bunch of die. Oh wow, almost every single one of them a slash. So that gives me a lot of flexibility. Well, first of all, I'm definitely gonna finish this line. I need two more yellows. I'll take this yellow and this yellow Well, actually, it's interesting. I've got all these slashes. I could, I could probably almost finish this line from Eureka, and that's a nice long line. And this many slashes is pretty uncommon. And actually, I don't remember. Do these count as slashes? I don't remember. I think they do. Or let's see. Let me look at the rules. Uh, for constructing a link. Talk to me about slashes. Construction annual. All righty. Gray. Yeah. Come on, I know you're in here somewhere. Oh. Each dice. Sorry, folks. I know you don't watch videos to read. All right. Dice that show two or more colors. Okay, so my super one does count as a slash. So really, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six slashes. But first of all, to buy this would cost me three. That means I only have three slashes left over. And I get one, so I'd be one, two, three, four. So I, I can almost, I can be one short on this, but that means I'd be doing two contracts at once and I would not be getting the full points. I'll turn, no, okay, I am gonna finish this, I am gonna finish this. Okay, so two of my slashes, my yellow slashes, are gonna finish this line. Yay, yay, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And since it was my only contract at the time, I scored 10 points. So that puts me right up to 11. Jen and I are tied once again. And I get to use the really long rail. The one so long it doesn't even cover the whole thing. Oh, look at that. Alrighty. So that took two of my dice. I've still got several left over. Now I could start doing some deliveries. And I could do these deliveries before Jen gets a chance to. Although it'll cost me. See, because like, okay. Well, first of all, Tucson and Yuma all, both want blues. There are no blues anywhere in this line. However, Phoenix wants a gray and Flagstaff wants a gray. Jen was planning on delivering both of those on her turn, but I could do it right now. But here's the thing, she will still benefit from it. Because, okay, let's just say I was gonna deliver from Yuma to Phoenix. I can't deliver from Yuma to Flagstaff because this gray would get stopped at Phoenix. And you, you can't skip over somebody who wants something. This is all very, you know, Railways of the World style. So if I want to deliver from Yuma to Phoenix, 
This would cost me three dice. One, because I'm using my own track, and two, because I'd be using Jen's track. So it would cost me three dice. And then both Jen and I would score one point. So I could use three dice, and, and basically, we would stay even on points. So that's not that great. Now I can't do this to this, because somewhere in the, if I want to do delivery, at least one of the links has to be mine. See, because Jen's about to do this and score a point and I will get nothing and it'll be really cheap for her to do. If I do this, I'll beat her to it, I'll use up a lot of my dice, but I will prevent her from getting a, a bonus point. And I will get the thing, because these things score points when we get to the end of the phase. And what is it? I think that each one of these will score three additional points at the end of the phase. So I'll be really getting an additional three points off of this. And the thing is, as much as you can, you want to do deliveries as much as possible in the first phase when it's the hardest because there's no tracks, there's not much of a network yet. Because at the end of the first phase, everything is worth a bonus three. At the end of phase B, they're only worth two. And in the final phase, they're only worth one. So you really want to deliver as fast as you can. But do I want to give up three of my six, or no, three of my five remaining dice to basically score three points? But it's three points plus it's denying an ad additional point to Jen. It's, no, it's denying an additional immediate point and three points to Jen. I'd say that's worth it. I am definitely going to deliver from Yuma to Phoenix. Okay. Now that means both Jen and I get one point because we both had one thing that was used, so we stay tied. I get this thing for record keeping. We put a marker on here to indicate Phoenix is full. They don't want nothing more. They've still got a red to deliver, but they don't want anything. Okay, let's see. And this is kind of a pain. I'm going to put one of Jen's shorter ones out. That'll make it a little bit easier. There we go. That's nicer. Okie doke. Okay, so we both got one point. Phoenix is full. And now I got to pay. I had to pay one die for my own and two dice for Jen. So I got to give up three dice. But before I give up the three dice, I got to figure out what else am I going to do with these other, with these other two dice. And with my last two dice, and one of them is the super color. And then one of them could be, well, it could be pretty much any color. Now, with two remaining dice, okay, wait. I, I, see, I got rid of that contract, for right. With my two remaining dice, unfortunately, with two remaining dice, I don't have enough to get this slash contract. I could get this contract, the 3A contract. Where's 3A? The 3A gray is, I'm blind. Oh, wait, what the? Oh, whoops. I, I you know, ah, I'm, this is actually the 3A blue. Can't you tell? The difference between the 3A blue and the 3A gray? Oh my gosh, I did have it backwards. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, this is right, this is right, this is the So I could grab this line. And you can see this line is really kind of central to a lot of delivery stuff. And it's a lot of points. With two dice, I can't get any improvements. I can't do a switch station. Yeah, I am going to. All right, so with two of my dice, I'm going to get this. So I've got a new contract. And say it'll be these two dice. And I'll pay my other three dice to do that delivery, and that was all my dice. And now so far, I have not really, I've been using all my dice every turn, so I have not been making much use of my efficiency expert. I'm really kind of sad about that. Hmm, but anyway, so that was the end of my turn. I did delivery, beat Jen to it, and Yuma has nothing more to deliver, but they still want a blue delivered to them. And the nice thing is, on my next turn, oh, oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, wow, I just thought something even better. Instead, okay, yeah, 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 let's go back. I'm gonna do a different delivery. So I'm going to take three of those dice back that I spent for the delivery. We, d we don't do the thing, and this gray comes back. Much smarter thing I could have done. Instead of doing this double thing where we where each get a point, and you know, so I'm helping Jen, I'm going to do this other thing. It's, oh, wait, no. Uh, for some reason, I thought this was blue, and okay, never mind. Back to the original thing. Please ignore what I just said. If I had editing equipment, I would delete that whole little section. Just ignore what I just said. Sorry about that. All right, everything is fine. I did the double delivery. I just, my, I'm not colorblind, but I was colorblind there for a second for some reason. So I did a delivery. I got a new contract. And um, so 3A is, oh, and of course I got to put my cube down to indicate I've started working on it. And that was the end of my turn. Okay, so I get to roll all my dice for the next turn, all seven dice, which I'll worry about later. And unfortunately, my my black didn't come up with a super multicolor. That's too bad. And I get to refill stuff. A new contract comes out. It's blue 2A. Blue 2A. Blue 2A. 2A blue. I am blind. 
I have to admit, I'd much rather, instead of these called Blue 2A, I really wish they actually like had the names of the towns. It'd be more thematic. It would be much easier for me to remember where Oakland and Sacramento and Needles and Flagstaff is, rather than just looking for arbitrary numbers and letters. But whatever. Blue 2A, where are you? There it is, right there, okay. See, they could have said, it's the Fresno-Bakerfield line. Wouldn't it be cooler if this said Fresno-Bakerfield line? Whatever. Alrighty. Guess this makes it language independent, I suppose. Anyway, though, so that line is up, and it's Jen's turn. Now, she had rolled all this stuff. Let's see what she's going to do. And, of course, she'd be able to make her turn really quick because she'd been thinking about what she was wanting to do, but I have not, so you guys will have to suffer and watch me grind a bit. Although we know for a fact Jen wants to build. She has no contracts, which means she's going to want to build, buy a contract. And, oops, I forgot. Now she can still do a delivery. She could deliver this gray from Tucson to Flagstaff. So she's gonna do that and she won't benefit me at all. So she's gonna do that. So she's gonna need two dice to go across these two lines. So let's just say it's these two dice, arbitrarily, that she's gonna use for this delivery. So I'm just trying to plan out what she's gonna do. Now she knows she's gonna to wanna to buy another line. 4A over here, or is the cheapest, it only costs her two dice. It'd be nice to get 3A, because then we're starting to build, you know, like a, a continuous, uh, continuous chain. But 3A would cost her an additional die. But I think she is, she's gonna take 3A. So that's gonna cost her three dice to buy that thing. And that's gonna leave her with three dice left over. This one is gonna work on that line. And then she's got two more, which she'd also like to work on. But now this is gonna be a red line. Has she used any red lines? Okay, so she should save this one and this should have been, oh wait, no. This is her only red die. So she could buy that red line but she wouldn't be able to work on it. Hmm, but she still has these two and what would she do with these? With two dice left over, she could buy another line. Oh wow, she could buy both of these lines. That's what she's doing. Yep, she's buying that line and that line and then working on one of them. That is her plan, let's do it. Okay, first of all, she's gonna make a delivery from Tucson to Flagstaff. Uh, go, it's this gray thing comes over here to Flagstaff, which means she gets it, so she'll score three points off of this later. Flagstaff is yum yum full. They don't want anything else. And this cost her one, it, it gained her two points because I didn't get anything. She only used her own track, so she gets one, two points off of it. And it cost her two dice. She used these two dice to do it. All righty, pretty nice. Next up, she is going to spend these two dice to buy this contract, 4A. And she gets to put a cube on it. She's gonna spend these three dice to buy, oops, oh, darn it, this contract. Okay, that was in St. George. This contract, she puts a die on it. Oops, puts a, where is it, where was 3A? This is the red 3A, this one. And she puts that out there. And then she had this, which she's gonna to use to put two cubes. Does she wanna finish the red? or the blue. Well, she's used up all her cubes. Really depends on what she's going to get next turn, but she's used up all her cubes. So I guess she's going to, yeah, what the heck. She'll put, she'll try and get the longer one finished because that's going to be harder to finish and it'll be worth more points. No, actually, because uh, remember, multiple contracts means you get less. Let's look at the multiple contract. This is a four and a five. A four is worth four points or three points. A five is worth six points or four points. So there is definitely worth her while to finish the four length before the five length. So she's gonna get her, she's gonna finish the blue before she finishes the red. All right, that was pretty quick. That, was, uh, that wasn't too bad. All right, so her turn is over. We gotta pull out two new contracts. Three, uh, two and three yellow. There's two yellow A, and where is three yellow A? Here, over here, all righty. So two new contracts are out. Jen gets to roll her next hand. There's a whole bunch of dice. Worry about that later, because now it is my turn. Did I roll? I don't remember. Yes, I did, because I didn't get a good black. I remember that now. I'd like to forget. I'd like to pretend I didn't roll, but then people would point out that I'm cheating. Okay, so I got a lot of gray and blue. I got a little bit, I got a lot of gray uh, and blue and one red. And what am I working on? Fortunately, I'm working on a gray line. Very right, one, two, three, four, five. I could get this gray line done right now. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, we're gonna do that. Five, and I'm gonna finish this line. Which, come here, you get a nice long one. Mm -mm -mm. How much was this? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is my only contract. Uh, it's a six long, it's a long contract, so I get eight points. Uh, it puts me up to 20. This contract goes away. 
Okay, as it's done. So that was a lot of points, hooray! But I've only got two dice left. What am I gonna do with two dice? I could buy another contract. Oh, that um, shipping line is now, it's gotten to its absolute cheapest. I can't buy an imp improvement as much as I'd like to. I can't buy a switching station. Um, can I deliver anything? Can I? Well, let's see. This city wants blue, this city wants blue. Oh, and uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it in this little, this whole little melange right here because there's only a gray and a red on this track. So I can't deliver anything up there. And I forgot, I can't deliver anything up here, can I, right? Because this wants yellow. Yep, yeah, I can't deliver anything with this little line either. Although it'll get better when B comes up because then Carson City comes into existence. So I got two dice left over and nothing much I can do with them. Nothing I can do at all. Finally, my storage efficiency comes into play. I'm gonna bank these and next turn I will have an extra blue and an extra red die. Very nice. Otherwise, I would have had to throw this away because, you know, if I had two blues, I could bank one. Or if I had two reds, I could bank a red. But with this, I wouldn't be able to bank them at all except for the fact that I was an efficient storage expert. So I've got two additional dice. So next turn, that really means I've got nine dice I can use. And yay, my black scored for me again. All right, so these are all my dice that I can use next turn. Nice, nice, nice. Nice dice. Okay. Although, again, I could have used it for this. That would have been nice, too. But next turn, I'm going to have... Well, hopefully, I'll have a much better turn. Okay, so anyway. It is Jen's turn. I didn't buy anything. So it's Jen's turn. Let's see what she's got. Now, she's got two contracts on the go. She wants to finish this blue one. So let, right, let's just do that right now. Boom. She finishes her blue with that die. Puts a little marker from Los Angeles to San Diego. That was four. She has two contracts, which means she scores three points. One, two, three. Okay, and now there's a line. Although, San, well, San Diego wants a red, and later on they'll want more red. Los Angeles wants a blue, a gray, or a, or no, yeah, just a blue or a gray. The black means nothing. They, they don't want anything. And currently there is no way, but actually pretty soon, there will be a way to get this gray. Wow, once Jen finishes this line, this gray could be delivered all the way from Flagstaff to Los Angeles. That'll be pretty cool. Okay. Oh, I've been forgetting. Um, there are bonus points to be had on the deliveries, although it didn't matter. Jen and I both delivered one gray, which is a slow delivery. And slow deliveries want very, very long distances. Now, we they were both very short, so we didn't gain bonus. But say this gray, which will be one, two, three, three long. Ah, oh, it's still not long enough. One, two, three. No, I'm sorry, it's four. It's one, two, three, four. This will be four long to deliver this. Because that gray got delivered along four links, it will get an whoever delivered it will get an additional bonus point. So you can see you want to make really long deliveries of gray. You want to deliver these blues all the way down here from Mexico, all the way up to Seattle, basically, or all the way up to Canada if you can, um, because you'll get a lot of bonus points. But you'll need, and that's where the switching station comes in, because the switching station reduces the cost of long deliveries. But anyway, so. Jen has spent one die, she's completed that, she scored her points. Now, can she complete her other one? Just get that done. One, two, three, four reds. She's got one, two, three. Not quite enough, but she's gonna work on that. So these three are gonna go and get her almost done. Not quite, but almost done on that guy. Which would be cool. Let's see, and now she's got four more dice. Uh, yeah, so what's it gonna be? And then, yeah, yellow. With four dice, she could buy her last improvement, Acquisition Expert, which means everything else for the rest of the game will be cheaper. That ain't bad. But unfortunately, buying this takes up her final improvement slot, so she won't be buying any more improvements. Although you can dump any improvement you want at any time, lose its ability, and get a new one. Let's see, with four dice, she could get, she could get a new contract. Oops, I'm sorry, she finished. Which one did she finish? She finished this one. She gets a new contract, but she doesn't want to do that because she wants to get the full price on this contract. She doesn't want to get a new contract. Mm. Oh, but oh, the delivery. She's going to do her delivery. Right, that's going to take her due dice. No, she already has done her delivery. She can't do a delivery uh, because Los Angeles isn't finished yet. So that leaves her now. She could bank two dice, say, and get a, a die. So maybe she will do that. I guess she is going to. She is going to buy the cheapest contract, the, that, that boat one up there. She is gonna buy that contract. 
which means she starts working on the Eureka to San Francisco line because she could afford it. Otherwise, she was going to waste dice. So with her last and now with her final two dice, she's going to trade them in so that next turn she has a blue. Yep. So now she next turn will have an extra blue die. All right. So that was her whole turn. So she gets to roll. Come back here. You. Oh, she got some nice slashes. She didn't get her special multi thing, but she will have an extra blue on her turn. Okay. This comes out, a new thing comes out. And as you can see, we're getting very, very close to the end of phase A. And 2A, red 2A, red to Area. are. The line between Sacramento and Fresno. I grew up in Northern California. So for me, it's really, really cool to see all these names. I grew up in Knight's Land in California, outside Sacramento, you know, lived in the Delta. I'm sorry, that has nothing to do with anything. Silly me, all right. Anyway, so there's a new line um, to build. All righty. Jen's turn, she's rolled, my turn. And she banged something, so let's see what I got. Remember, I've got a red, a blue, two more blues. So I got four blues, five blues, anything I want, a red, yellow, and a red. All right, so I should be able to do something good with that, I would think. For instance, I could buy, I could buy another die. It costs six, but I got enough dice, I could buy that. That'd be pretty cool. Or this one, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Once per turn, every turn, you just automatically put a die down free. Now that means you want to always be laying track because it sucks to have this and not actually have some track to lay. So maybe I want to get an improvement this turn. Now I know Jen's about to finish this, but I can't really, I can't um, benefit from that now. But there's this line. Maybe I want to jump in on this line so that, you know, uh, because hey, there's a blue down here that wants to get delivered up to Los Angeles or over here to Yuma. Yeah. Or over here, and another blue over here to Tucson. So if I get this line, I could benefit. Yeah, blue, doing a blue from Tijuana all the way to Tucson would be very, very cool. And it'd be my link, Jen link, my link. It'd be three links long, and so I would get more points than her. I think so. I think I would like to get this line. Alrighty. We're gonna get line 3A. I have a new contract. And that cost me a yellow, which I happen to have, and two other things. And now, see, this gets kind of into the tricky thing of, see, because, you know, I might want to save colors for other stuff. But let's just, I'll say I paid a yellow and two for these. And I'm going to think about that. Maybe I need those colors for something else, but we'll see. Okay. So I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six more dice. I could get another contract. Or, you know, could I finish this contract? I've got another yellow. I'm going to put one down, and I've got two more yellows. Yes. I'm going to build that contract, and I'm going to finish it immediately. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna have this down. Then I could do a delivery. I could go straight to the delivery from Tijuana to Tucson. That would require one, two, three, four, which would be these last four. That's what I'm doing. Maybe it's not the smartest move, but I don't wanna make you guys wait forever watching me play this game, so I'm just gonna go for that. That all adds up, that makes sense. So let's do that. For starters, I bought this contract using that and my two bonus dies that I saved from a previous turn. And I've got a new contract. And I get to put one cube on there immediately. Okay, second up, I will use the other two yellows I've got, thanks to those slashes, to complete this contract. And I get to put a thing down here. It's three long, it's my only contract, which means I score three points. One, two, three. And this contract goes away. Okay, and now I'm gonna deliver from Tijuana, uh, I guess it must be a bunch of tequila, all the way over here to Tucson. And it's only, unfortunately, it's only three spaces. If it were four spaces, I'd get bonus points, but it's not quite long enough. So, but anyway, oops, see me. Ah, I'm so clumsy. One, or one, two, three. All right, and I get this, I'm gonna score that later. I get one, two points. Jen gets one point, because I used hers, and it cost me four dice to go that line. And I get no bonus points, because it needed to be one longer. Tucson is full, Tucson wants nothing else. And um, interestingly, if I had any more dice, oh wait, 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 I, I'm sorry, I can't do this because Jen hasn't finished her line yet. Ooh, gosh darn it, pay more attention, doofus. All right, so this hasn't been delivered. I have not gotten one two points. Jen has not gotten one point. That's still there, Tucson's still fine. And I didn't pay 
One, two, three, four. So I get four dice back. I don't know which ones. Let's just say it's these. Yeah, these were the ones I accept. So I've still got four dice. I can't make my delivery yet. Grr. Four dice. I could buy Acquisition Expert, which makes purchases cheaper for me. I could get another contract. Could I get another contract and finish it? That'd be pretty cool. 2A, where are you 2A? You're up here. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, look at this, I got a whole bunch of blue. I'm buying another contract. 2A, which requires a blue and something else, and gets one on here. Whoop, alrighty. And now with my other two blue, I'm gonna work on that some more. And so that line is almost finished and I'll score some points there. Alrighty, that was the end of my turn. Just kept it simple. After I made a dumb, stupid mistake, because for some reason I thought this was clear when it wasn't, I reroll my dice. And we'll worry about that. Oh, and I got my super die, yay. And now it is Jen's turn. Let's see, she's got her blue, oh wait, oh wait, but new contracts come out. Is this gonna be it? Oh, they slide. Nope, not yet, we're almost to the end of phase A. Okay, and where are those? Those are red 1A and gray 1A. Red 1A, up here, a little tiny one, and gray 1A. Come on, you folks know where it is, don't you? Help me out. Gray 1A. Ah, oh, there it is, between Oakland and San Francisco, kind of hidden. Ah, oh, so all these little ones are starting to pop up now. Okie doke. It is really cool too about how, you know, the order of this because of the ABC fray, you know, really does kind of mimic the expansion of the Old West. Clearly, it is this at this point that San Francisco is coming into its own, wanting to build a bunch of rail around in the surrounding area. It's just really kind of nice. But anyway, so I've rolled, those have filled out. Jen's turn, what's she got? She's got a bunch of dice and one extra. She has one blue, uh, some gray, red, some, a bunch of red, yellow. Alrighty. Fortunately, hey, well, you know, she's working on a red and a slash. She could do very well with both of these. Although, actually, oh, she has to choose one or the other to really focus on. Now she needs one, two, three, four to finish the slash. She only got three, so she can't finish the slash. She can finish her right now because she only needs one. She's gonna use this to finish this line. Okay, the San Diego to Yuma line. Alrighty, so that was one, two, three, four, five. And unfortunately she has two contracts at the time. So that means instead of getting six points, she got four points. One, two, three, four. But like I said, last turn she didn't want to waste some dice. So that's why she had two contracts. So that's her first die used, she's completed the line. Now, before I get a chance to do any deliveries, she's gonna do some deliveries. You remember how I wanted to do this Tijuana to Tucson? Not gonna happen. Because right now, she's gonna do this San Diego to Tucson and fill up Tucson so I won't be able to make my delivery. And that will make me sad. But, say la vie. Okay, <sighs> how's this gonna work? Right, so she's got a bunch more dice. I think these are all gonna be used for deliveries. Because let's start with this one. From San Diego to Tucson, so she's gonna get this. It's gonna fill up Tucson. That was, we each get one point. It was a short one with a long haul, so she doesn't get any bonus points. And she got the thing. Oh, and she had to pay two dice. And here's the two dice she paid, right? Okay, let's just say. Now, she wants to deliver this gray all the way up to Los Angeles. That is gonna be one. Oh, this is interesting. No, it's not. I was gonna say, she could go one, two, three, four, five, if she wanted. But the difference between a four and a five, it's the same diff either way. It's you know one point either way, so it's just not worth it. She'll just take the longest, shortest one. One, two, three, four. So she's gonna score this. This space of Los Angeles is done, doesn't want anything else for the rest of the game. She had to pay one, two, three, four, five dice. So one, two, three, four, five dice to do it, including her dummy one. No, actually, instead of her dummy one, she used that. Because I believe you can hold these for multiple turns. So, you know, if she used this, she wouldn't be able to hold this, but she will be able to hold this. So she's gonna hold on to that for a future turn. And so she went, went five, she had to pay a bunch of dice to do it. We each got, a, she got one, two, three points. Did I already do that? I don't think I did. I got one point off of that and she gets one, two, three. So we're tied again. And she's made this long delivery, and now she's got three delivered goods. This is nine points at the end of the phase compared to the one I've got because she finished this line before I did. And now my line to Tijuana, I was just not thinking very clearly. There's no place for it to go. Um, oh, you know, there's Yuma. Well, it's better than nothing. 
All right, well, anyway, so on my turn, we're going from Tijuana to Yuma. Anyway, that was all of Jen's dice. She didn't use her thing, so she'll continue to hold that. I'm pretty sure you can hold these over multiple turns. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and use this. You have dice remaining. You can stockpile as long as you want. Stockpile can be spent on later turns if they were dice the same color. Uh, when spent, they return. Yep, exactly. So she can hold on to this for as long as she wants. So that was it. She didn't buy any contracts. She just did a bunch of deliveries and fulfilled some contracts. And this is her role she'll have for next turn, including another blue. My turn. I've already rolled. This is what I got. I've got a contract to complete. Um, where is it? It's 2A. Which one was that? Oh, it's this one over here. I want to finish it, so I'm going to use my only two blues, thanks to the slashes, my only two blues. I'm going to finish this line between Fresno and Bakersfield. And that was a one, two, three, four, five line, which is worth six points by itself. Actually, uh, you know, uh, so that's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm back in the lead again. Okay, so that's done. That was, and I only took two of my dice. I have finished with this contract. Okie dokie, and now I've still got five dice. What am I gonna do with them five dice? I could do the delivery. I think I wanna get another contract. Here's the thing though. I, I almost don't wanna get more contracts. As, as, as more contracts come out, the phase is gonna be over. And currently, Jen's gonna do really, really well. I wanna make some more deliveries. The phase is almost over. I need to make a delivery so I can get as many things as I can before the phase is over. And now what kind of deliveries are we looking at? Ah, oh, look at this, Phoenix to Tijuana. I only just now noticed that because I am slow and dumb. I am going to do that now. Yes, I am. One. Now I could go one, two, three, but that would just be giving Jen another point. It would cost me more, so I'm not going to do that. One, two. Oh no, but San Diego wants red. It can't make it to Tijuana. That's blows. Oh well, but still. One, two. I'm delivering this red. Oh, and that's very nice because red Blue and gray goods are slow goods. They're consumer goods, they're uh, you know, food, whatever. Red are people. People want fast, short ones. I'm delivering the first person in the game. So I'm gonna deliver this red from here to here. I should have seen that sooner, I'm very embarrassed. So I got this red. It took two dice of any color. I'll get rid of these two grays. Um, wait, actually you don't have to use the dice color of the, oh maybe you do. I've totally forgotten about that. If so, I apologize profusely. Uh, deliver cargo. Math. Sash cargo. You must trace them. At least one links must be wrong. Anything? What's in it? No, it's generic dice. Although, oh, I just remembered. I think on at least one turn, Jen has delivered two things in one turn. You can't do that. You only get to do one delivery per turn. And I don't remember now if Jen did two deliveries on one turn. If so, this didn't count. Sorry about that, folks. I totally forgot that rule. You can only make one delivery per turn. Although there is a special die in the game that doesn't appear in a two-player game that lets you do multiple deliveries in a turn. So did Jen do two deliveries last turn? I don't know, maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I don't remember, if so, I apologize. But anyway, I'm doing my one delivery that's legal, which means San Diego is filled up. And um, I, paid to, to, I paid the two dice that I was doing for that. And it was a one, two, fast delivery. So I get two, oh wait, um, we each get one point because both Jens and my lines were used. But then I get two bonus points because this red went two links. So I get two more. Strictly speaking, Jen should have done that red. She could have done the red instead of the one she did do. Oh well, like I said, I'm not really thinking this through very much, but at least I'm explaining after the fact when, I'm, when I stupidly realize the dumb mistake I made. But anyway, so that was my one delivery. I could do another delivery now, but I can't because it breaks the rules. You can only do one delivery per turn. I would like to do this one, but I can't, which means Jen is gonna get to do it on her turn, which sucks. Because even though, I mean, Jen can make this delivery. Uh, it, in Railways of the World, you have, the first link has to be your own. In this game, any of the links can be yours and, and it's valuable. Anyway, so I've got three dice left over. What am I gonna do with them? I guess I could get another contract. But if I get another contract, end of phase happens. Which gives me less time to do anything. But Jen is gonna get to deliver this thing. But if I get another contract, will that create one last delivery I can do? Let's look. Okay, there are no more, oh, oh there are all these ones up here. All four of them are up there. Let's see. So if I grab one of those contracts, what could happen? Wait a minute. Well, first of all, we're missing some, I forgot to put some uh, stuff out. There should be a random thing here, here, and here. Oopsie-doo, my setup skills suck. 
So there should be a blue in Santa Cruz, a yellow in Santa Mana, or Santa Maria, and there should have been this here, that blue there. Oh my gosh, oopsie, how embarrassing. Is that right? Yeah, they were white. I just totally forgot to put stuff on those at the beginning of the game. Oh, okay. Right, okay. So, now, the phase is almost up. We want to get as many deliveries done as we can. I've already done the delivery for my turn. I want to create a line that will let me do more deliveries. <sighs> Although, there are deliveries to be done now. This blue can make it... Can it? Yes, this blue can make it to Yuma. Or this blue. So, both of these could happen. So Jen's gonna do one of them, and then you will be gone. Jen's gonna do one, one of the, Jen's gonna do this one on her turn and score points and I will not. So she's gonna get that. So I wanna get this blue someplace else, but I can't, because there's nowhere else in this network that needs anything. So I gotta look, I gotta build something up here. And I'd like to deliver this yellow. Does anybody want a yellow in this network? You want gray, you want gray, you want blue, you want red. Shoot, I cannot get that yellow delivered anywhere. That's too bad. Alrighty, well, there's also some blues and grays up there. And I think they want to get delivered. How would I do that? Oh, my goodness. See, I would have been thinking about this on my turn, but I'm just having to make you guys watch me grind. I'm so embarrassed by that. Let's see. So this wants a red. There are no reds here, so I don't want to make this line. Although there's a blue, and that blue could make it to San Francisco. So if I, yeah, and that'd be a pretty easy one. I'd only need two yellows, but there is a bit of a risk there. I might not make it. No, I'd only need one yellow because I'll get a yellow for free. No, I need two yellows. Right, right, right. So I need two yellows next turn to be able to do that and then make that delivery. Um, alternatively, there's this gray, that, but this gray would need, two, would need this line. If I do this line, oh, and I need two lines, so I'm not gonna build two lines. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna take this guy. Alrighty, I'm buying two A. I need to use at least one yellow, which I've saved, hooray. At least one yellow to, um, to do that. Okie doke. And you know what? I used this red to deliver instead of my super multi-power red, because that would have been stupid. All right, so I, I did uh, yellow. And oh, yeah, yellow. Oh, no, it didn't matter. It was yellow and two more dice. That's how I bought that last contract. All right, so I've got a contract. That was the end of my turn. I made a delivery, I bought a contract. And now it is Jen's turn. So before that happens, though, new thing comes out. And well, actually, no, it's when this comes on the board. So actually, we got a couple more turns. I, was, I wasn't really thinking that through. But anyway, 2A gray. 2A gray. Here we go. This one right there. Okay. I re-roll for next turn. And I... Oh, wait. Oh, and I forgot. I got to put one. And unfortunately, when I rolled, I did not get the two yellows I needed. That's ridiculous. That is painful. Oh, well. Whatever. Jen's turn. Oh my gosh, this, minute, this has gone on 43 minutes. You know what, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna say that there had been one less contract in the board, and hey, well, you know, boom! End of phase came out. At the end of my turn, end of phase came out. It's time for end of phase. How does that work? You might ask yourself. I'm gonna check the rules because I don't wanna get this wrong. End of phase, it's played over a series of phases. The end of phase is signaled when the first end of phase is drawn from the contract deck. The player that drew it at the end of the turn puts it in front of them. So I have this. Now, every player, including me, is going to get to make one more turn, and then we're going to score into phase. So, right, because, I mean, the video is just getting too long. All right, so now all Jen and I want to do is make one more delivery. And she's going to get to, and I'm not, because I didn't roll the two yellows. Oh, that, that is painful. Although maybe I'll be able to do something else. I don't know. worry about that in a second. But anyway, Jen just has this really simple delivery of one, two. She got another blue to Yuma. Yuma is full. Um, she got two points because he only used her track. She used two of her dice. I'm not even going to pay much attention to it. And you know what? She did some other stuff. She uh, you know, got some improvements, got some whatever else she did. Not even going to worry about it because the only thing we care about for the purposes of this in-phase scoring is that she got another delivery done. Because I just want to demonstrate delivery. Uh, let's say, well, she had some slashes. She put a few things over here on the contract she's working on. And I don't know. She, I'm sure she bought another contract. Right, let's say, and it was 2A, and where is 2A red? 2A, and so she bought another, con no, that's 1A red. She got 2A red. She got another contract to start working on that. And that's what she did. And those were all her dice. 
Not even gonna spend much time because I'm running out. I mean, this has gotten way too long. And oh, wow. Well, hey, I'll get to show you something else too. A natural disaster has happened. Select a completed contract, destroy the link, that, um, and set markers on both sides, fill the contract track, place the contract on top of the contract track. So, there's been a disaster. One of our lines somewhere has been destroyed. Not this one though, because I, you know, but anyway. Right, so, we choose one randomly, random, 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 and it is, boom, 4A has been destroyed due to a natural disaster. Now, I should say, the natural disasters, they are a variant. You don't have to use them, but I'm showing you everything. I'm glad this came up so I can show it to you. 4A has been destroyed. Where is 4A? Hello? 4, oh, it's 4A blue, more to the point. This can be, oh, it's right here. It's one of Jen's lines, so bad luck for her. So her line just got destroyed, and, oh, where's the contract? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, dear, where'd it go? Oh, here, no, yeah. Select a completed contract, destroy that link, and set markers on both sides. So, now because it got destroyed, markers on both sides of that want, so these things go away, and um, now they want deliveries again because stuff got destroyed in the, what's it? Now where did 4A go? Because that card goes, oh, come on. Did this card just disappear? Oh, here it is. Right, so we refill, so another contract comes out, 7B, another one, and this goes at the top, so we know it's gonna come back out very soon, so we'll have a chance to rebuild this space. Select, a, fill the contract track, and place the contract out. So, okay, so that was a disaster, and so suddenly, well, I was gonna say that's good for me, because hey, blue needs to be delivered again, but the line isn't there. So, I, that didn't really help me, but Jen lost one of her lines. Okie doke. So, now, Jen had gotten her one more turn, she got one more delivery, this is my last turn. I, all I wanna do this turn is get a delivery. I don't think I can do it, because I did not roll two yellows. I did not roll two yellows, so I'm not gonna be able to deliver that blue up there. And I don't think there are any more deliveries I can do. This disaster didn't help, because there's no, suddenly a red that wants to be delivered, but there's no reds to deliver. And, let's see. Is there something else I could build that would allow me to do a delivery? 1A, okay, what are they? Oh, whoops. Right, so this is the thing, so 7B came out, so it's that one. I'm not gonna be able to get that built in time. So again, looking at these little short ones. Oh, okay, yeah, I can build this one. This, um, I'm gonna buy this guy, this contract. I should've bought this one last turn. Again, I just wasn't thinking very clearly. Uh, that cost me a gray and one other thing to buy it. And I put one cube, and then I had another gray that let me finish that line. So I made this little tiny line from San Francisco to Oakland. Okay, and it's, um, it's one of two I've got. It's a two-er, it only scores me one point because I have two contracts because I was dumb and should have gotten that one in the first place. I'm now gonna deliver this gray from San Francisco to Oakland. So I got a last one. Oakland is full. And I got one point because I used my track and that delivery was a long term. So basically it was just the one point, I got no bonus points. So yeah, I got a delivery, hooray, I'm happy about that. And then I still got some dice, what do I wanna do with these dice? Let's see, I've just completed this line. No, I've, I'm sorry, I just completed this line. Well, I guess I'll continue working on the other one, so I, it's almost done. I got these with three dice, with three dice, I will, well, I'd, like, I'd make another delivery if I could, but I'm pretty sure I'm out of deliveries. I think, well, I could buy another contract. And now that we're getting into phase B, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my last three dice. I'm gonna buy a switching station. Because what that means is, you've seen how longer, like um, delivering from here to here costs one, two, three, four, five. It costs Jen five dice to make this long delivery. If she'd had a switching station, it would have cost her four. If she'd had two switching stations, it would have cost her three. So as we move into the era of doing longer and longer deliveries, we want more switching stations. So I bought the first switching station in the game. It doesn't give me any points, but it will help me in the future. I don't believe it gives me points, right? Switching station is only to help your deliveries. Switching stations, uh, is it anything? Uh, yep. Yep, yep, there you go. So, easy peasy, I bought a switching station. That was my last turn. So, we have both now had one more turn at the end of phase A, and so now, phase A is truly done and we score. Jen gets 12 points for the things she's got, and now they are removed from the game. Um, 28, 38, 40. 
I get nine points for the three I've got. They're removed from the game. And so I get nine, which is 45. So I'm still in the lead. And now, here's the fun part, all the B's come out. B is now a new deliverable place in Los Angeles, and they've got some goods to deliver their own. B, where, okay, where are all the B's? Where's the B's? Nine, nine problems, and all these B's are several of them. Okay, and so another thing is in Car Carson City has just sprung into existence, where they've got some gray. Sacramento has gotten bigger, and they've got, oh, they've got some passengers to deliver. Passengers, the yellows and the reds are obviously much more rare. San Francisco's gotten bigger, and they've got a passenger. Um, B, 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 C's, no. I think that's all the B's, is that all of them? I think so. So, it's a new world. There are new uh, possibilities. We're gonna start seeing contracts for, as you can see, for all the B's. So we're gonna get more opportunities to expand more. There are more things on the board to deliver. Um, but now at the end of phase B, any deliveries we make will only worth two bonus points instead of three. And then, uh, and then phase C will open up, the last things will open up, and we'll continue on to the end of the game. Oh, 50 minutes. Thanks for your patience. Sorry I, was, uh, I got myself confuzzled a few times there, but hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes. But anyway, again, I am wasted. I don't know if I'm going to see this game all the way through because I'm only just now at the beginning of phase B. And phase C, I'd have to go all the way through phase B and phase C. I'm sorry guys, I do not have the strength. There is a button on screen for final thoughts, not a button for in game. But, um, but still, the, I mean you can see, I think you can see pretty much what the end game is gonna be like. It continues, more and more options come up. We start making very longer and longer deliveries. These deliveries from Mexico all the way up to Canada, they score huge points, um, you know, because you know, these long hauls start you know, getting all the bonus points. More things will come out, a mad rush, more building. Um, you, know, we've, you know, we might start throwing improvements away to get different improvements if things change. Actually, both Jay and I, we haven't even gotten more improvements. We probably wanna, so nobody's bought this because we've been so busy doing other stuff. There's more really great improvements. But at the end of the game, at the end of phase C, all the stuff you deliver during phase C is only worth one point. And then I said, there's something else, isn't there? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everything is worth. See, um, one space for every cargo. Every cargo you deliver is worth one, and you get one point for every cube that you uh, that is on a rail that you have not finished. So if you were halfway through finishing and the game ended, you at least get points for the attempt on that. And then whoever has the most points wins. So the ending is really simple. There's not a lot of complicated extra stuff, but. We I delivered three, Jen delivered four. We both had a pretty good run of deliveries in the first year. And so over time, the deliveries get less important. Although, but yeah, they, they, they're worth less bonus points, but they're worth more in the first place because you're making longer deliveries and you're getting these bonuses here. So it's a very clever system, very elegant. And, but I'm gonna go on ahead and let you hear about that in final thoughts. In five, four, three, two, one. Thanks everybody.